Now, guys, the S&P 500 closed in September at around 4417, 4417. In July of 2021, the S&P 500 closed actually at the exact same number, 4417. That means that we have had no growth for two years. Wealth manager Jason Katz at, down, uh, sat down with Stuart Varney on Fox Business to talk about the role of the Fed in the future. The Fed has a last mile problem. The low hanging fruit has been plucked. I think the market can deal with 3% inflation. Investors can. The Fed can't. They have so much mud on their face from the transitory nonsense that they're hell bent. They're not going to move the target to 3%. They're going to keep it at 2%. And as a result of that, I think that is a bit of a wet blanket on equities. Sounds to me like you're forecasting not a dead decade, but a dead year where the market it really doesn't go anywhere. Well, if you're planning for retirement, I mean, you can't afford to let your money sit idle for three years. So where is the yield in this current environment? Yeah, great question. You know, so in, in that example, you've got um, a wealth manager predicting the market could be flat over the next year based upon what the Fed does. And, you know, at the end of the day, the market's going to do what the market's going to do. In fact, I'm going to be diving deep into this topic at our economic summit. That's coming up on October 11th. Uh, we're going to be kind of sharing some insight about our opinion of you know where we think the market is going to be with it being a, an election year. And in fact, what I did is I went back and I took a look at the, the numbers and I looked at the market performance in election years. And you know, since the S and P 500 index has been around, we have had 23 elections since that time frame. In 20 of the 23 elections, the stock market has been higher in the election years. So I'm not sure that the statement that the market's going to be flat over the next year is going to be true. You know, the odds are in favor that the market could be higher. Again, in reality, what happens is the market doesn't care what my opinion is. The market's going to do what the market's going to do. So you still, as an investor, you need to make sure that, especially at retirement time, these are folks that need their money to be producing income. You know, if they're not going to get up and go to work every single day, their dollars have to get up and go to work every single day. They can't have the ability to be stagnant for the next year uh, and have three years in a row that their money sits flat. So ideas on where to find yield. First and foremost, you know, think about your uh, cash reserves. So if you have a large balance buildup in your checking savings rates, uh, maybe CDs, maybe an old annuity, uh, it could be well worth your time to spend some time looking at uh, evaluating, is that still the right option for you? You know, we've got money market funds over 5% right now as of October 2023. You've got FDIC insured bank CDs. Uh, in that 5.5% range, again, depending upon what bank and what time frame you select. You've got fixed annuities offered by the insurance companies of America in that 5 to 6% range. You know, So those are type of products that if people need them to produce money, uh, they can produce that consistency all the time. I'm actually optimistic, again, looking at the, the market. If you're selective on where the opportunities are within the marketplace, uh, maybe not owning all of the market, but I think another example of where to find yield in the market is dividend-paying stocks. So a couple of good ways to make your money work a little bit harder for you. If you feel like maybe you're on that uh, treadmill and going nowhere, but you're just running, 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 there are ways to produce yield in this environment that we're in right now. Absolutely. I think, you know, you talk about the S&P 500, it's a collection of obviously 500 stocks. It, within that 500 stocks, there are some dividend paying stocks that we, you know, hand pick in our, some of our portfolio models. And again, so it sounds a little biased, but there are some opportunities. Um, you know, you, you hear a lot about the uh, Magnificent Seven you know, the stocks that are outperforming the S&P 500 and basically carrying the weight. So, yeah, the overall market might be flat, but there are some opportunities with individual stocks. And, uh, you know, I think our screening process is, is uh, something inv investors can take advantage of as well. Being able to, to go through, you know, with a, with a comb and figure out what's going to actually work for you, what is actually going to uh, generate uh, income, where that yield is, because here's the truth of it. You know, even if the market sits flat for three years, if you're already in retirement, you're taking a loss because you're withdrawing money. So finding that right blend, figuring out what's going to work best for you, all starts with picking up the phone and reaching out to the team at America's Retirement Headquarters, 419-794-3030. 
That's the phone number or the website if you prefer, arhq.com.